This is an interesting one. Commercial chicken farmers in the States in the summertime had problems. The chickens were laying eggs, but the eggs were fragile, so they were breaking, so it wasn't commercially viable. So they brought in scientists to try and determine why were the, the, the eggs um, so fragile. And what was happening is the chickens were in such a hot environment that it was causing the chickens to pant. And the heavy breathing chickens were getting rid of their hydrogen ion or carbon dioxide. And as a result, calcium bonds to the albumin, so it's not available for release. So they really need to do something. And scientists thought about putting air conditioning into the chicken houses. They thought about feeding the chickens calcium. But they come up with a solution by giving them fizzy water. And you know what fizzy water is carbonated. Now, that, if you go on to PubMed, you'll see three or four studies showing that the eggshells were a lot stronger, thanks very much, after taking carbonated water. And also when they killed the chickens, the bone strength was a lot stronger. So I think it could maybe be interesting from your viewpoint. Children that are mouth breathing may have a greater instance of, well, I'm pretty sure they do, you will know more, a greater instance of dental caries or gum disease, dental cavities. But are the dental cavities maybe not just due to a dry environment, but also due to the fact that there's a biochemical change taking place? So what drives our breathing, carbon dioxide or oxygen? There's a large reserve of oxygen in the bloodstream. You don't breed to bring in oxygen. You breed to get rid of carbon dioxide. It's only when oxygen levels drop to 50% of norm will it drive your breathing. So your breathing is driven by carbon dioxide. So the primary stimulus to breathe is the concentration of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is generated as an end product from our metabolism. We move, more, we move our muscles, we generate more CO2. What are the functions of CO2? pH of the blood is 7.365. If we breathe too heavy, well, if it changes to being too acidic and drops below 6.8 or too alkaline and rise above 7.8, we die. So carbon dioxide is the primary regulator of pH. And carbon dioxide and water form hydrogen ion and bicarbonate. So the balance of pH is determined by the balance between hydrogen ion and bicarb. And that's taken from a paper called Hyperventilation, the tip of the iceberg. So you see the balance, pH here is 7.4. Here's the balance of bicarb to CO2. But if you offload carbon dioxide, if you breathe too heavy, you're left with an excess of bicarbonate and a deficiency of carbon dioxide. And the pH changes to an alkaline direction, but we said it's so important that the pH is kept within a narrowly defined parameter.